Uprights printing, one of the biggest common mistakes during uprights printing is for the athletes to be toesy. This is what Janae calls it, and I, and I, really, I really agree. Landing on the toes or landing only on the ball of the foot, we want to land flat-footed, meaning getting that dorsi flex movement with the foot before you hit the ground. Heel barely misses the ground, she's landing flat. So our way of fixing it, as we talked about, our philosophy is to use forced mechanics drills versus only talking about things. She's gonna give me A skips, a two-stroke movement, up to the Z, down, but now you're gonna land on your heel. So can you just get your foot up, hit your heel a little bit, just get some kinesthetic awareness to remind yourself of the part of the foot that will be hitting the ground. This is very safe and very, very appropriate. So come up to the Z, land on the heel, very controlled. Just feel landing on the heel, go ahead. Just a regular A skip. On the heel, on the heel, the part that you hit. Now we're really teaching the dorsi flex movement and getting her to land on the heel to really get her toes up. A little exaggeration to make sure that she's getting the constant. You're gonna turn around. Now I want you to hit your heels one more time just to remind yourself, this is the contact of the point to the ground. You're gonna give me B skips, landing on the heel. Before you go, can you get your toe up? Just get your foot up, then go your toe down. Now her foot coming to the ground, now her leg is so long. We wanna get, make sure that the foot the, the leg is short so it can swing quicker to the ground because the faster it comes down to the ground, the more force you get out of the ground, the more productive you'll be during the air mechanics, the flight, the flight phase of the sprinting. In baseball, if you have a hitter that's swinging the bat and they're slow, what they do in baseball, they bring them a shorter bat to be able to swing quicker. In sprinting, a longer foot, a longer leg will swing slow, produces less force, thus sprint slower. Now we wanna make sure that that foot that, that leg is shorter by getting dorsal flexion and make sure that we're landing flat-footed to take advantage of her powerful calf muscles. So give us B skips, landing on the heel. Okay, calves close to the hamstring on the way up, then land on the heel. Take a break, walk back here. Great job, if you wanna just come back here. Now, recovery mechanics in upright sprinting, just get the calf close to the hamstring, get up to the Z. Yep. One more time, from the ground, pull it forward to calf to hamstring, bam. This is what we're looking for in recovery mechanics. It makes her, her leg shorter, thus can swing up faster. Thus she'll be faster. If that angle is too open, looking like, not like a Z, like an, an L, that's a, that's a capital L for me, that's a uppercase L. That, that's a longer lever, will make the thigh swing slower coming up. This is not what we're looking for. We want to come up quick, calves to arm to the Z, then push directly down. Do it again. Come up, push directly down. This is what we're looking for. We're going to add, we're going to add one little thing. You're going to give me um, A skips on the heel, stretching your arms up. If the athletes are slacky, if they're broken at the hips, they're basically losing a lot of force. It's, it's as if you're trying to shoot a cannon out of a canoe. Your force is going all over the place. We wanna have a stable posture because this is our platform to apply force. So stick your arms up there, making sure that she's tall at the hips, knees and ankles. Come up to the Z and land, just a skip movement, land on the heel, go ahead. Stay tall and land on the heel. Staying tall and landing on a dorsal flexion, getting the heel close to the butt on the way up to make sure that we have a shorter lever at recovery, which will make it faster. Now we're gonna do B skips, stretching the arm up, making sure that we're stiff and tall, so we're not wasting force. Land on the heel as well, so stretch your arm up. Okay, calf close to the hamstring on the way up, shorter, shorter recovery, and land on the heel. Great dorsal flexion, great tall body, staple body posture. Now we're really efficient in applying our force.